Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Jamie B. Thanks for stopping by. So in today's video, I am going to be doing this super fun, super quick holiday makeup look for you guys so you can look glam and snatched on Thanksgiving, whether you're going to be with your family, you're gonna be on Zoom, or you're just gonna be eating some turkey by yourself. So if you're excited to see how I got this beautiful look, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and we will get right into it. So I went ahead and I did my brows off camera and I'm going to be getting into the holiday look. Today I'm gonna be using the new Pat McGrath palette. Um, this one is the Mothership Mega. I think it's what it called. it's called Celestial Divinity. Now this is my first Pat McGrath palette. I will tell you that. I usually don't buy them because although they're beautiful, they're like $128 a palette and you get like 10 shadows. So this palette was actually only $78 and you get 16 shadows. I know that the big di one of the big differences was the size in the shadows and then the packaging. Um, it is a cheaper packaging, but for me, almost all of my eyeshadows come in like the thick hard cardboard. It has little strings here to hold it up so it's not lying flat and you're just like this. So you don't have to hold it. Like that's pretty cool. Uh, so for me, like the cheaper packaging, I don't know if that's really a thing. I know it's cheaper than the other packaging which is like a hard plastic and like really nice case but i think that it's really really pretty um i've only ever swatched it i got it probably when it had first come out maybe a week after and so i wanted to do the holiday look with this palette because it's new da and it's pretty da uh, <laughs> but also just to kind of give you guys like a heads up because like holidays are coming you know some people are like, i don't know what i want so we just start using some new stuff. So just also as a heads up, I do have some really bad redness going on today. I don't know if you can see it. Like I can see it on my eyes, my forehead, around my mouth. Um, I have severe eczema and sometimes it just flares up. But for some reason, lately, it's been flaring up so much more. Like, my eczema this year has been off the chain. Um, so if anybody else's has been that way, please let me know. And um, I want it to go away, but it won't. Like, I've even put steroids on it because usually I try to stray away from steroids. But um, I've had no choice because it's gotten, like, pretty bad. Uh, so I don't know what to do at this point. So if you have any tips, please comment them below so I can fix my face. <laughs> I think I'm going to go in with this color right here. All right. So now that I actually <laughs> had to pop off camera and do my, uh, base on my eye because I really just went to put my eyeshadow on with nothing at all on my eye. Okay, so I'm going in with that brown color I was pointing at. I think it might be a little too dark for what I want. So I'm just putting this in the crease and I'm just blending that color up. And I just did like the lightest touch because it is a darker color. And I'm going to go with like an olive and brown eye look. Yeah, there's not very many mattes in here. There's this one, this one and this one so there's three and none of them are like really transitioning colors so okay, so i grabbed another palette real quick it is the huda beauty um rose gold palette and this one is the remastered i just want to go in here with henna which is more of like an orange brown and just kind of brown this up a little warm it up a little bit more because that one was giving me way too many reddish vibes and not enough brown okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go in with a clean brush and just kind of go to the top here and blend it to smooth that a little bit more so now that i have that we're going to go in i'm literally going to go over my lid with this green right here it's like an olivey gold And I just think that will be such a beautiful holiday look with that brown. Okay, so I'm just using a flat brush to pick that color up. Oh, oh, okay, I love this. 
This is a creamy shadow. I love this. It presses on so smoothly. And there's like no fallout whatsoever. I thought it was going to be a little fallout because when you go to press in it with your finger and with the brush, it kind of looks like it's a little bit in pieces because it's a shimmer, but it does not give me fallout at all. And this color is beautiful. Oh my God. <sighs> These shadows could definitely be applied with your finger, but it is most definitely beautiful like they can be applied with your finger they can be applied with the brush like it looks like it doesn't pick a lot up but then when I swipe it on my eye I'm like oh my god this color is so pretty all right so I'm gonna go back into the Huda palette actually Huda palettes always like they never let me down and I'm gonna go in with sandalwood here it's a very very like light brown and just kind of blur where I did the shimmer up above my crease. So I do put the shimmer well above my crease just because I have hooded eyes. So in order to be able to actually see that shimmer stand out the way that I want it to, I have to bring that up a little bit further. But y'all knew that, so. This is such like a Thanksgiving vibe. Yeah, I was working on doing a Christmas look and I'm like, Still Thanksgiving, Jamie. Like, <laughs> you're just skipping right to thanks, right over Thanksgiving. Like, that's not the next holiday for people to be doing makeup. Um, for Thanksgiving, we are not going anywhere this year. We just feel that it's safer to stay at the house with the kids and do our own thing. My sister, uh, my nephews will be coming. But other than that, we're not doing a really big one. Usually we do a really big family one just because like I have such a huge family, but this year we just opted out of that. Um, I think that's it for the top lids. So I'm gonna go off camera and I'm gonna put my face on and then I'll be right back. All right, so I went ahead and I took my hair out of my clamps. So I think for my under eye, I think I'm gonna do a little bit of the shimmer of the green in the front and then I'm gonna end over here with this henna color from um, Huda. So it kind of sucks that I didn't really get to use this palette as much. So if you guys want to see like another look or a little more of an in-depth review from it, then go ahead and comment below. But for me, I really like it so far from what I've used. Um, I'm loving the shimmer. Like it just is so good. I, it does not take much and then it's just boom there. It's so good. Oh, I love shimmers like this. And that's why I'm a big fan of Huda shimmers because her shimmers do that where they just go on like butter. Okay, so I'll do that like I did with the front and then I'll from the middle towards the end I'm gonna blur this color out. We're always in a mood. Okay, so just a little bit on a small blending brush. And then from the middle, back. And then just blend that line. So it kind of brings that shimmer over. Be a victim. And then I want to do an inner corner. I don't want to do gold. Mm, let's see what Huda's palette has. So this palette has a lot of shimmers, but I feel like you're definitely going to have to use another palette with it to get that complete look you're looking for. It's too many shimmers, not enough mattes. Like, I need that happy medium because I love my matte shadows. And I really think that every... Every palette should come with a light shimmer to pop into the inner corner. Duh. Because I feel like if I did gold, it's going to take away from the gold in the green shadow. And then it's not going to pop as much as I want it to. And I don't like that color either though. So I went into 
bubbly first, but it was kind of like a pink undertone. And I was like, no, not what I'm looking for. It's in a mood. Oh, oh. All right, so to finish this beautiful holiday, thankful Thanksgiving look, I'm going to pop on a beautiful warm lipstick. This one is Kylie Cosmetics Dolce de Leche. And this is just a cream lippy. So that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this quick, fun holiday look. Again, if you don't have this palette, you can go into any like neutral palette that you have to achieve this look and just pick like a more warm brown or kind of like a burnt orange and then use like an olive green of any kind. Um, if you don't have an olive green that kind of has the gold reflex, I would recommend maybe putting a little gold shimmer over it and kind of blending it together. It's fairly simple to do. Just make sure, like I said, you pair it with a warm lip. You don't want it to be cool tone versus your eyes being so warm. All in all, I really love the way this turned out. I think it's very festive for the fall, for the holidays coming up. I will be doing a more Christmassy look later on. Um, I don't know why I went to do a Christmas look today. And I'm like, Jamie, Thanksgiving is like next week. So I'm just excited to share this with you guys. I hope you liked it. Again, if you want a more in-depth review of this palette, then go ahead and comment below and let me know. Um, I think I really do want to kind of work with it because I like the formula, I like the colors, I just wish it was more like user friendly, I guess. There's not really a lot of mattes that a normal everyday person, if they didn't have a million palettes, would be able to access in here. So that was the only issue. Um, but you're getting a whole bunch of beautiful shadows for $78 and her brand is phenomenal but they are expensive they are expensive so if you want to try her out and not break the bank try this one um you get a lot of shadows they said it's a cheaper package but I mean most of my palettes come in this thick cardboard material so I'm not worried about it. Alright guys, I hope you have a good week. I hope you have a great Thanksgiving. I know this year has been pretty crappy to most of us, but just try to remember that you are here, you are breathing, and you have people who love you. And as always, I love you. I hope you have a fantastic week and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!